y'all welcome to my channel today i will be discussing the bags i sold in 2020 and why if you're new to my channel my name is candace i do luxury videos that's luxury fashion and designer beauty if you're not new welcome back thanks for tuning in once again staying subscribed and watching my videos i also do beauty fashion and lifestyle on a separate channel i have a link down below if you are new hopefully you'll stick around and subscribe and see what else i post here because i post lots of fun videos at least i think so so before I dive into the video, I'm going to tell you my lipstick of the video, or lipstick of the day. My lipstick of the day is the Glam Vice Vivid Matte Lipstick in Unapologetic. It's just this gorgeous brownish, darker red. It is red, basically, but it does have little undertones in it. Just to let you know, if you didn't already see that. Let's dive right in. I have notes, so if you see me looking down, that's what I'm doing, because I did take notes for this. I'm not just remembering this from the top of my head. I don't have a memory that's that great. So what? that's why we'll be using cheat sheet, a cheat sheet, cheat notes. Yeah, that's what we used to call it right in college. Is this story true? Not that I would know or anything. I mean, you know, Okay. just saying. Before I even start this, I'm gonna tell you, I do not buy things with the intent to sell them later. I buy things because I actually like them. I actually love them at the time that I purchase it or I have been looking at them for quite a while and it's just something that I have to have. So none of these items I'm gonna talk to you about are something that, okay, I'm gonna buy it, but I'm gonna sell it later. I also don't buy things to return them. I just thought I'd put that disclaimer out there because I do know people that, you know, do that. Which, you know, that's your business. It's not my business, okay? The first bag I sold, I'm gonna show you on screen what they look like in case you don't know what I'm talking about because you might not know what I'm talking about for some of these. But the first one was the Givenchy Sugar Goat Skin Mini Antigona in white. I love this bag. I wore the heck out of this bag. If you go back and look on my Instagram feed, on my blog, you will see I wore this bag into the ground. And that's probably why I ended up not liking it much. And also the fact that I didn't take care of it. I only started babying my bags last year, honestly. Prior to that, it's just like a regular bag. I would sit on the table. I would toss it over my shoulder. I wouldn't be protective over the leather like I should have with it being expensive and everything. As I started selling these bags back, I started, okay, maybe I need to start taking better care of my bags so that the value will be higher. But honestly, Givenchy bags, you don't get much of your money back anyway, so it doesn't really matter. The reason I sold this is because I think I got this in the wrong color. It had nothing to do with me not liking the style. This bag was so hard to keep clean. It had color transfer. It was so dirt. It eventually stopped looking white. And I do want a crisp white bag if I'm going to have a white bag. And this bag, it takes nothing to show up the littlest, the littlest amount of dust and dirt. So I just got rid of it. I just regret not getting the cognac color. They had a cognac brown in the same style, the mini style. I'm of course probably going to have to get it secondhand because I don't think they make that color anymore. I've been stalking everywhere and nobody has it. So I definitely plan on putting this bag right back into my collection. Just not in this color. This color was a bad buy. And it was disappointing because I didn't get much back from it at all. It was terrible. All of these bags I'm mentioning, by the way, were sold on Fashion File in the future. Since I've started a whole luxury channel, I might try to sell future things on here. I'll see. It just all depends, you know. We'll see how that goes. If y'all be interested, just let me know. The second bag I sold last year was the Chloe Green Calfskin Medium Abbey Bag. And I'm not sure what the name of this color was called. I forgot. It's some blue color that was on Nordstrom. I actually got it from Nordstrom, I'm gonna be honest. This bag was an influencer influenced by, and this was purchased before I even stopped doing that. Everybody was rocking this bag at the time. It wasn't necessarily this color. I think the color I saw was like this pretty red cognac looking color. Obviously I have a thing for cognac, okay? But it was not it was not a good buy. I loved it at the time. I love seeing on other people. I think that's the thing. It was also too big. I don't like big bags anymore. I have tried, I've tried. And I always go back to smaller bags. I don't know if anybody else is like that, but it was just too big. And I realized I made a big mistake by getting it. And that's why I have another Chloe one on my list. I'm gonna move on to next. This is the Chloe Suede Calfskin Mini Fay Bag. And this is in light yellow, I believe. I got this one from Neiman. And this, again, was another. I have a trend here with all these bags that are sold. I saw other influencers with them or people with them. I'm like, oh, I need it. Don't fall into that trap. Even for things I share and post, don't fall into the trap. If you don't really like it, 
if you don't see a need or a reason to get it, don't get it, okay? Don't make the same mistake I did because all bags I've mentioned so far have crappy resale value. Again, I don't buy the resale, but I guess it is nice to consider that before making a purchase. Okay, if you don't really like this bag, keep in mind you're gonna lose most of your money when you try to sell them back. So also take that into consideration before making a purchase. Make sure you really like it because if you don't, you're probably gonna end up selling it and you're not gonna get even half of what you paid for it back. So that's kind of like a little tidbit when considering if you really want a bag. The reason I sold this one, same, same deal with the Givenchy bag. It was just way too hard to keep clean. That suede part at the top was the worst, that light yellow suede. I would never, ever, get a bag like that again unless I protect it with something. It was dirty. It was even dirty when I sold it. And that's probably why I didn't get much for it. I'm gonna continue with bags and then move to SOGs and accessories. Okay, so the fourth bag, I believe. Fendi Napa 1974 embossed baguette in light blue. Don't get me wrong. I absolutely love this bag. I love the baguette. I have one color now. The mistake I made here was the color. I love the color, don't get me wrong. I know it's like, contradicting what I'm saying but I love the color the thing I don't like is the color on that bag if it was the light blue Chanel that's on my wish list the Chanel mini classic flap I would absolutely love that and that's probably why I, I ended up not liking this one as much also when I saw this bag in store the color I actually loved was the hot pink version of this and I think it's like the Nicki Minaj version I saw someone else on their channel have it I think it was like the Nicki Minaj version and I was like, no, I have two pink bags. I don't need another pink bag. Let me just get blue. Worst mistake ever. Never settle for something you didn't come in there for. That's exactly what I did. And I ended up selling this bag because of it. Poor, poor mistake. This bag and brand, you get paid slightly more than like Givenchy or Chloe. It's still not what you paid for it. Keep that in mind. This is a pretty bag. It's a gorgeous bag. I only took pictures with it a couple times and wore it a couple of times. I should have gotten the pink. And now the pink is not available, so... I will never do that again. It's one of my biggest regrets in luxury. Buying a second choice instead of my primary choice. Number five. This is the last bag. Cause again, I don't sell much at all. This is the Bottega Veneta Napa Maxi. Intracasida? Intra... It's the top handle bag, okay? It's the brown one. The one I showed you in my unboxing. It was my actually it was actually my very first video on here, on this channel. It's too big, it was too big. I couldn't get over it. I didn't like how it laid and sat on me when I wore it crossbody. As you know, I don't wear many of my bags shoulder or top handle or clutch, mostly crossbody. If the bag does not work well as crossbody, I'll end up not really liking it because that's how I prefer to wear my bags. I dress casual most of the time and that's pretty much why I do that. That and because I like it. No other reason. The color was beautiful. It was just way too bulky and big. I wish that color came in the padded cassette or even the cassette. I would definitely consider getting it or getting one of those. I don't know about now because I have one of both of those. <laughs> so I don't know if I would actually do that now, but it's a beautiful brown color. If somebody else comes out with a brown Chanel, let's do SLGs. I have two from Louis Vuitton. I'm going to start with the Denier Azure Victorine wallet. And it was a short wallet. It came in Damier Azure. I said that already. I like this wallet. It was just, it just got too bulky because my bags are small and it took up way too much space. And honestly, I don't need to carry that much in my wallet anyway, so I never needed anything that big. At one point I did, because I did carry bigger bags, but now it's too big. It was too big. And also I didn't baby it. It was one of my very first Louis SLGs. I think it was my first Louis SLGs. I got it to go with my corset up here, if you can see that. I should have gotten a flat one or one of those pocket ones with the snap closure to just slide cards in because it was a trifold. And I don't like those type of wallets anymore. That's just me right now. I don't like it no more. Ugh. The other SLG I sold from them was the Monogram Palas Payas. Compact. I'm saying payas like it's like Spanish. I doubt that is how to pronounce it. But this is what it looks like, okay? This one was way too long. I got this to go with my oh my gosh, I don't know how to pronounce it. My Vorgard. 
this here. I have a trend here. When I first started buying bags, I got the wallets to, the wallets to go with them. Bad idea. I got a bigger wallet because I had a bigger bag. Bad idea. I should have gotten a smaller one. Number one, take up less space. And number two, I don't like big wallets. So I don't know why I bought this. I was basically talked into it from my CA. She was like, oh, you have that. Cause at the time I was carrying my other one, my Victorine I just talked to you about. And she was like, oh, you have too much stuff in the wallet and you need a bigger one. I'm like, you're right. But I wasn't thinking I have too much in my wallet. No, I don't need a bigger one. I was like, yeah, you're right. And that will go great with this one. I ended up selling it. <laughs> and I didn't wear it much, honestly. The Saint Laurent Crinkled Calfskin Matalasse. Oh my gosh. Okay, so y'all know I love my Saint Laurent Nikki, right? It's like my one of my favorite bags ever. I wanted a complimenting SOG card holder to go with it. On the website, it looked just like it was a crinkled leather card holder. My stupid ass did not measure or look at the measurements of the card holder. I was just like, that's perfect. It would go great with my bag. I never looked at the measurements to see it was super long. Y'all, this thing was like a clutch. I'm telling you, it was like this big. It had a zipper, you know, zipper across the top. It was this big. That was not no card holder. That thing was a clutch. And obviously that's not what I wanted. And it was past the return period. At first I was like, okay. At first I was like, okay. I'm not one of those people that like to return things. I know, I know. If I don't like something, I should return it now. I definitely will. But I ended up not returning. I was like, okay, I'll just deal with it. I'll wear it. I didn't wear it. I hated it. So I got rid of it. That was the last SOG. The last item, Gucci Calfskin Double G Marmont Belt in white. This is another one of those things I saw on other people that I loved, but I need to realize that just because I see it on other people doesn't mean I'm gonna like it on myself. And white belts are one of those things I do not like on myself. I just think I'm too dark for a white belt. I just don't like how white looks on me. With this white belt, I just didn't like how it looked on me. I seen it on other people and it looked great, but it's really tricky to style. And with the things I wear, it's very tricky to style. And with the things I wear, white would not look good honestly the only way i think it could work on me is if i wore all white because i wear a lot of denim you know darker denim even lighter denim i don't like how white belts look so i just got rid of it only reason i got the white is because okay i've seen other people that looked great with it and then i also have the black and brown it's like okay let me get the white i don't even wear my black and brown one that much anymore not because they're out of style but strictly because i don't wear belts that often anymore even my Hermes belt, I don't wear often anymore because when I wear denim, I usually don't wear a belt anymore. Especially because I found denim that actually fit me, that don't ride down and stick out at the back. Really don't see a need for belts much anymore, so that was a waste. I still wear my Hermes one though. I just had that one for flex reasons only, not because I actually wear it. Well, I guess the only reason or the only way I could possibly flex is to wear it. Those are the bags and things I sold in 2020. And I explained why. If you sold any of these items as well, or if you still have them, let me know in the comments. Whoop, that was not me. Nice. That was my phone. Let's put my phone back. Okay. Rate the video, subscribe to my channel. Turn on those post notifications so you don't miss anything that goes live. Any Alexa videos that go live. Talk to you soon. Thank you for watching. Ooh.